I know I'm a little late to the party, but today I will be doing just some reactions to the winners at the BAFTAs from yesterday. I haven't been able to look at the winners yet, aside from getting Anatomy of a Fall winning screenplay spoiled for me, but aside from that, I don't know anything. So here we go. Yes, yeah, sound, okay. Um, zone of interest, good win. I, I like that win. Um, kind of surprised that would be Oppenheimer. I don't think this is gonna have Oscar implications because British bias, but good, good for a zone of interest. Casting, the holdovers wins casting. I love that. I mean, I think that that's really only Dominic Sessa, <laughs> um, but really Dominic Sessa alone is enough to win casting. Good win. Cinematography, Oppenheimer, not a surprise. Editing, Oppenheimer, not a surprise. Makeup and hair, Poor Things. I, I like that. I think Poor Things should win makeup and hair. I think it is the most deserving nominee at the Oscars for that award. And yeah, I'm rooting for it because the makeup and hair in that movie is awesome. Special visual effects. Poor Things wins here. I don't think Poor Things is even nominated at the Oscars. I just, I think that this just shows that the creator and Guardians really aren't that strong. If anything, maybe this is telling us that Godzilla really is the favorite um, for the Oscars, but I don't know. Like, I, I don't really know what that's telling us. I kind of have to think about that. Production design, poor things. Whoa, shocker. Uh, it did be Barbie though. Costume design, also poor things, beats Barbie. Um, but, but Barbie is a very American thing. So for poor things to be beating Barbie at all the BAFTAs, like, I'm just not surprised. I guess all, all I could really say that this is telling is that, you know, poor things will probably win a couple of the awards that we are expecting Barbie to win. I don't really know what, but, um, Barbie's not going to sweep the technicals that I think we were expecting it to sweep a few months ago. Score, Oppenheimer. Again, not a shocker. Divine Joy Randolph, uh, that's a good, good win for Divine. You know, I think out of all the awards, if she wasn't gonna win, it would have been here and it would have gone to Emily Blunt. I was expecting that to happen. So for Divine Joy Randolph to win here, I mean, good for her. You know, it's she's a shoe in for the Oscar. It would really be um, the upset of the century if she didn't win the Oscar at this point. I mean, oh my God. Supporting actor, RDJ. Yeah, <laughs> not a shocker. Good for, good for Downey. Lead actress, uh, Emma Stone. Th that kind of seemed like it was in the bag. You know, Lily Gladstone didn't even get nominated. I mean, maybe Sandra Huller could have upset, but yeah, Emma Stone winning. I'm not surprised at all. Kelly Murphy, best actor. Again, I'm not surprised. I think SAG will be a lot more telling for how the Oscars will look versus BAFTA in terms of the actors. Original screenplay, Anatomy of a Fall. Yeah, so that was the one that I had spoiled for me, but still, that's a huge win for Anatomy. And I might now put Anatomy over Holdovers as my original screenplay favorite. Oh shit, okay. <laughs> uh, American Fiction with Adapted. Is that like gonna be a thing? Is that like, yeah, because it won, it won Globe, or no, it didn't win Globe, it won Critics' Choice, and now it's winning BAFTAs. So I guess that's a thing, that American Fiction's gonna win Adapted. Maybe I should put it a little higher on my Best Picture rankings, probably. Um, but yeah, I mean, good for American Fiction. Nolan for Oppenheimer, that's not a surprise whatsoever. Animated Film, oh my god, o okay. This is, this is what I wanted to happen. Boy and the Heron wins animated. I, I've been backing Boy and the Heron, even though I love Across the Spider-Verse. I love Across the Spider-Verse so much for today, I made the decision to put it in my letterboxed top four. You know, like I, I adore that movie, but at the end of the day, I just want Boy and the Heron to win because it is a career award for Miyazaki. He is the greatest animated filmmaker of all time. He's one of the greatest filmmakers just of all time, in my opinion. And I really think he would just have earned 
that animated award and he's been working on this movie for eight years he's not overworking his animators i'm rooting for boy in the heron even though i love spider-verse as much as i do yeah documentary 20 days of mary Upal, not a surprise whatsoever non-english language film zone of interest oh that'd be an anatomy um that be that beats anatomy for baftas but also that shouldn't really be a surprise because jonathan glazer is british British bias. Best film. Oppenheimer. Not not a surprise. Not this is yeah, this is not surprising whatsoever, at least to me, but I'm assuming this shouldn't really be surprising to most people. I'm still surprised that Zone of Interest didn't even get nominated for Best Film at the BAFTAs. That's just that's kind of weird because it won a lot here. But what about all of you? What did you think of the winners at the BAFTAs? What surprised you? What didn't surprise you? Let me know in the comments down below. I'll see you on the next video. Take care.